Not me. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, I reached out to John, and uh, John gave me my John Fazo, the way that I've come to know him over the last three decades. Uh, they're going to support him. And that's the reason why today I'm proud to endorse him, strongly endorse him, and ask for uh, my fellow citizens, uh, Republicans, independents, and Democrats alike, uh, to get behind this campaign for a great American, John Fazo. Mary Jo and I are deeply proud to endorse him and support them today. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. agenda, a pro-growth agenda to bring private sector jobs, to bring private sector opportunity, and restore hope to people so that they don't have to flee this district for tax reasons and our young people don't have to leave to find opportunity elsewhere. Chris Gibson has built a remarkable tenure in Congress. It is a, it is a legacy of, of work, of dedication, of discipline, of cooperation. Not everyone is going to agree uh, that we have a partisan divide in our country. People aren't going to agree on all issues all the time, but it's important and it's incumbent upon us, and Chris has led by example in this regard, it's incumbent upon all of us who seek high office in this country to find common ground and find consensus so that we can address the crises that we face in our economy, in our security, and we address the, the true interests of the American people. So. I truly appreciate Chris and Mary Jo, your support. Uh, they've been terrific. Obviously, I appreciate Mary Fran's support because without her permission, I wouldn't even be standing here. So thank you so much, uh, Chris and Mary Jo, and we'll be happy, Chris and I, to answer any questions that you might have here today. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I've done my best to give them a voice in the halls of Congress. And have you decided on whether or not you're going to